In this lesson, we are going to learn how to plot points on a coordinate grid. What we see here is a coordinate grid, or otherwise known as a coordinate plane. A coordinate grid or a coordinate plane are two number lines that meet perpendicular here to form a right angle. Now with these two number lines, it allows us to plot any point anywhere within our whole coordinate grid. The first number line across the bottom is the x-axis. I like to remember that the x-axis is on the bottom because x can also mean crossing. Sometimes you'll see an x at a railroad crossing sign. Um, the x goes across the bottom. You could also remember that you crawl before you walk, just like the x-axis is horizontal to represent crawling. Now the y-axis is this lo the long axis that goes vertical. I like to remember that the y-axis is vertical just like the bottom of a Y is long and skinny before it splits. Now the origin is the beginning of your coordinate grid or also known as where your zero where your two number lines meet. Another name or another word for origin could sometimes be the beginning and that's how I like to remember that the beginning of my coordinate grid where my two number lines meet is my origin. Also, if you just look at the word origin, the first letter in the word origin is an O, which looks a lot like a zero, which is our origin of our coordinate grid. Now, An ordered pair is a set of numbers that allows you to plot a point on a coordinate grid. Ordered, pair, ordered pairs need a couple things. First of all, they're surrounded or inside a set of parentheses just like this. You'll have two numbers inside your parentheses. For example, 1 and 2. Now, so this is not, not confused, as 12, you need a comma separating the two numbers inside your coordinate grid. Now, just like we said you walk, or you crawl before you walk, rather, the x is the first coordinate in your ordered pair, and your y is the second coordinate in your ordered pair. Another way to remember this is x comes before y in the alphabet, so x comes before y in an ordered pair. Now, sometimes you'll be given an ordered pair and be asked to plot it on a coordinate grid. For example, the ordered pair we have here is 1 and 2. So our first coordinate, like we said, is 1. So I'm going to first find the 1, and since we know that that 1 is an x-coordinate, we look on the x-axis to find our 1. Next, we find our y-coordinate. Our y-coordinate is 2, so I'm going to find the 2 on my y-axis. Now, to plot the point inside the coordinate plane, you have to find where those two lines meet, where our x-coordinate 1 and where our y-coordinate 2 meet. So a lot of the times I'll take each pointer finger and I'll move my pointer fingers in till I find the point where they both meet. This point here on our coordinate plane can be labeled just like our ordered pair is here, 1, 2. Now other times you might be given a point on your coordinate plane, for example, just like this. 
And instead of plotting the point, you'll be asked to give the ordered pair or the coordinates of that specific point. Now, just like we list our x before our y in the ordered pair we have here to the left, we need to do the same while we are finding the coordinates. So I'm going to look across my x-axis. I see that this point has an x-coordinate of 6. Now I need to find on my y-axis where my point will be located. And I see that it is 6 as well here. So to write my ordered pair, I first make my parentheses. And I'll put my x-coordinate before my y-coordinate. Now to give you another example where the x and the y-coordinate aren't the same number, we could take a look at maybe this order, an ordered pair for this point here. Let's take a look at the x-axis first because x comes before y in the alphabet and the x goes across the bottom. So here we are. If we look at our point, we look all the way down, we see that point has an x-coordinate of 5. Let's look across the y-axis to see what the y-coordinate is. We can see it has a y-coordinate of 8. So the ordered pair 5, 8 would represent the point that we plotted last. Now a couple things to be careful about while you are working with coordinate grids and ordered pairs. First, the units across the bottom in this case are whole numbers and every time we pass a line on our coordinate plane it's another whole number. Sometimes those points across the x or y axis can be labeled as fractions or decimals. Make sure that you are not counting always the lines but really paying close attention to the specific units. Another question you might see, or another example of a problem for a coordinate grid, could ask you something like this. Point A is how many units away from the y-axis? Well, let's look at our y-axis here. We know that as the axis going up and down, like the bottom of y, and we see that it is two units away from our y-axis. To do, to do that, you can look at your x-axis, look down to see that it is two units on my x-axis, therefore it is two units away from my y-axis. This point would have an ordered pair of two and six. 2 representing the x-coordinate, and 6 representing the y-coordinate. Always remember your parentheses, x-y-coordinates, and your comma when you're making an ordered pair.